Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark. You notice it's a little bit darker here. Tiny bit darker. One of the lights is out. Ooh. We're going to be playing... Uh, we're playing get... by the light of the moon. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, we're going to be playing a 2600 game. And it is Orbital War. Oh, the box is over there. You can see it in the camera. And uh, we're going to be playing it for a contest, and we'll see how well we do. <clears throat> we won't come first, because that's how it goes. There's better people out there than us, but we're going to give it a good try. Let's see where we rank. Uh, thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm going to read uh, the subscribers' names, because we uh, do that each time. Uh, Alan the Fur, Andrew Davy, Arms Guard Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Capman 2D, Charles Adani Mao, Charles and Check, Charles Wynn, Chitlila, Colonel Lama, Dianoi, Dan NVC, Daryl 1970, Dave M, uh, Dr. Mookow's Great Defender, J Ground Trooper, Roger Rapper, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny WC, Joker, Cabrito JRM, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, D Ke Cavell Defer, oh, getting faster on that one. Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mar Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Thomas, Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnwoop, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pack Rab, VG, Quahog, R. Anchowitz, R70, Rendered Ghost, Repentance, VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty, B, Smoke, Spice Warrior, S. Ramirez, Teleprompter, D Train, Lost Cartridge, Welsh Man, Tiki Dion, K. T. Foes, Trekum D, 2600, X Can X, and people who subscribed recently, Charles Whelan. Uh, Drexel, who's that? Uh, 2600. And, yes, if you want to support it, you get your name scrolling down the side there. It's free if you have Amazon Prime. Yes. Oh, it is scrolling up. Yes. Because that makes more sense, because then it goes in alphabetical it's order. Treat time. If yum, I've been yum, always yum, saying yum. scrolling down, or i just been saying scrolling. I don't know. Charles Wheeland wants the cats. To fight it out. Fight it out. What do you want? What do you want, kitties? Let's clear some room for the competition. Sprite won in the main show. Sprite will win again. <laughs> but, oh, he switched sides. Oh, and we're <laughs> off. Thank you, Bill. Sprite oh. is one. Oh, one, one. One all. Sprite, two, one. <laughs> Go on, hit your bell. Go on, hit your bell. Three, one, oh, three, uh -oh. two. Oh, you're not prepared. Oh, you're slowing him down. <gasps> oh, the judge interference. Uh, judge four, interference. two. Four, two for Sprite. Five, two for Sprite. Hit your bell, go on. Hit the bell. <laughs> Six, two for Sprite. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Interception. <A> complete upset. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 7-2 for Sprite. 7-3, Atari. Oh, 8-3. This is going to be just a massacre. Oh, 8-4. Atari's catching up. 9-4. It is now game point. Come on, hit it. Hit it. One hit more. Ball. Get Come one on. more. Hit it. And. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, 9-5. Uh, and 10, yeah. it's over. Ding, ding, ding. 10, 5. What was it last time? It was 10, 5, 10, 6. Or 7. No, no, no. It was no. not 7, no. Mm. <laughs> 5 or 6. So Good Atari point. did okay, even though he got distracted. Poor Atari. Well, if he wants it, he can go for it. He can uh, power through it. So we're going to be playing... Orbital War for the Orbital War competition. And now uh, Orbital War is made by Leandro Camera, HSW3ET uh, from Brazil. And uh, yeah, we played it before. Uh, Darcy played it uh, when we did the uh, world premiere of it. Did we do a world premiere? We played it on the show. I think we did do a world premiere, plus an interview with the developer as well. Uh, text, uh, printout interview. So, uh, let's get to the game, and I'll let you play it and figure it out. Um, oh, there we go. And, uh, because I completely forget how to play. No, oh, it's three times over. I noticed that somebody there had a score of 2,600 points. Oh, 
Yeah, which... actually, let's take a look at the competition information first. Ian can run in the background. Um, okay, let's go to web page. So this is the uh, Orbital War web page. It's in Portuguese and English. There's the intro. Let's get to the competition. Orbital War competition. How often do you play in your game room without streaming? Um, just for testing games, really. Because we play twice a week for like two or three hours each time. That's a lot of gaming. Um, I play in the living room on the big TV upstairs as well. Uh, mostly recently analog pocket stuff. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of MAME as well. Um, I should get back into like PS4 and Switch games. Ten is usually on the Switch or on Steam, I think, or equivalent other PC games. Okay, um, but that's a good question for the interview that Giovanna will be doing on January 3rd. We're going to get interviewed. Oh. <laughs> um, so sh uh, people have been submitting questions. Um, okay, competition. Orbital War competition ranking. Uh, so there's somebody in first place with 999,999 points. And somebody Four. in second place with the same. Yeah, so people... And third place is far behind those two. Wow. So I'm guessing we'll so be So it's in... first place, uh, maximum points, and they're the first one to get there? Yes, that's usually how it works. Uh, okay. Like for high scores on arcade games or any video games, it's like... If you've maxed it out and you're the first person to get there, you will never be beaten ever, unless somebody figures out how to get more points. But um, I suspect we'll be like there or like third or just between third and fourth, just based on this look of it. But who knows? Maybe we won't even place. Um, so there are three rounds or three challenges we have to do. Who knows how to play Orbital War better, if not Lieutenant Beta T? Now he will teach you how to win this competition, and then you will need to defeat him. Challenge 1. Recruitment of possible prize winners. Actually, let's make this bigger, because that's really small. Oh, where do we go? Uh, Lieutenant Beta T is recruiting the best fighters to participate in this competition. Join him. The challenge is the prerequisite for you to enter the competition. Challenge goal. Get to wave 3 of the game and submit one screenshot showing the three military badges, bottom left corner of the screen, and your score. Can you? Okay, so we just have to make it to wave three minimum. And then send the photo while we're streaming, so we don't, we don't usually need to send the photo. <laughs> they can see it in real time. Uh, challenge two, which is below. Uh, oh, the stink. Cat stink. Uh, Prize is a coupon for a 5% discount in the next game in the Raw War series for all participants who manage to reach the challenge. So you just have to reach the challenge. You're fine. You don't have to win. Uh, so first place overall is a cartridge, a complete... Oh, i got to clean that up. Maybe you can continue reading. First place, one complete Raw War series cartridge of your choice! <laughs> second <coughs> second place one coupon for 50% off the next game in the Raw War series third place one coupon for 25% off the next game in the Raw War series first prize will be sent to the winner for free stay tuned participants will receive tips from Lieutenant Beta T to go further into the game during competition I've read all the things on the screen and there are no more there's no more things to be read I have this glass of water, which I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but you can see right through it. it Whoa, it's a, it, water's it, transparent. I know, it's transparent. And I mean, it kind of changes okay. what you see. Oh, geez, it's back. <laughs> it's a, ruining it's, all our fun. Enough of the water All talk. of our science about water. <laughs> We're going to learn something new, but now, not okay. about water. Challenge one, we've already read it. So here is... The scores for challenge one, 34,000, 34,000, 33. So I, I, it looks like you get around the same uh, scores. 
for completing Well, it's it. half empty because it started full. But if it started empty, <laughs> then it would be half full. Ooh, it's prerequisite on what it the, the, what it was beforehand. Yeah. Mm. That's what I think. I've never heard that explanation before. Mm. That, that is true. Okay, so lots of people <laughs> have got to the first level of the challenge. So I think we'll make it there. We'll make it there. Uh, challenge two. Uh, now that you've been recruited to continue in combat, you'll need to submit one screenshot of the game showing A, the Easter egg with the spy infiltrated programmer initials on the enemy base and your score, or the enemy spy satellite scene and your score. Oh boy. Bad at Easter eggs. Good luck to us. <laughs> uh, either one of these two goals already serves as an accomplished mission. This challenge is not prerequisite to continue in the competition, but it can guarantee you the following prize. 5% discount, uh, blah, blah, blah. Tips from Lieutenant Beta T. The enemy base is situated on the moon. The spy satellite can be seen after the Earth blackout. Use the top secret envelope, which I'm not gonna open, because then I've ruined it. Top secret envelope. If you want to solve this mission quickly, it uh, probably gives you big, big hints. Maybe we can just see through it. No light. It's probably dark now. No, not quite. Oh, it's a ton of text. Oh. We kind of can see through it. I can't read the text, but... Uh... Did you see the text? <laughs> <laughs> can you... I'm not eating because... It's probably all in Portuguese, actually. Yeah, I didn't buy any nuts today. And uh, I didn't buy an apple. I should have bought an apple. Uh, it's two pages over top of each other. I can I can see letters. I had a bar, but I ate it before the show started. So uh, you didn't miss anything. Why are you not eating? <laughs> <laughs> it's all in Portuguese anyway, so this would not help us. <laughs> It could. You could type it into oh, Google. True. Or just point the camera at it with mm -hmm. Google. Yeah, but I'm not going to open it. I mean, I wasn't able to read the text, but now I can see all the LEDs on the light. <laughs> at least they've burned uh. themselves into my <laughs> retinas. Oh, boy. Uh, so, okay, here's all the people. They've got um, LC on the screen, Leandro camera, some of them. Oh, is that the uh, Easter egg? Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, Easter egg, I'll see, uh, or they got the spa spy satellite on the screen. Okay. Okay. So, challenge number three, final challenge. Now you'll need to defeat Lieutenant Beta T by scoring more than him. Every time you knock the Lieutenant out of his rank, he will try to counter score. Can you be play better than Lieutenant Beta T? Beta T? Uh, send a photo or a video of at least 15 seconds. And a video of at least 15 seconds. Oh, and a video of at least yeah. 15 seconds. Showing the game screen with your best score. This is straight up score. This last one. <clears throat> uh, scores of Lieutenant Beta T will be su to be surpassed will be published in this website. You will be able to play in all the ways that the game provides. Consult the instruction manual and choose which option is best for you. The first place will necessarily need to beat all scores to win the competition, taking Lieutenant out of his... Hmm. Second and third place, if deemed necessary, we'll be able to keep the score below, only competing with the other participants. The end date of the competition will be determined according to the advance of the first place in relation to Lieutenant. If no participant managed to knock out Lieutenant down, the competition will remain open. First prize will be reserved, being immediately available to any... Comp uh, competitor who achieves a proposed goal. So you don't really <clears throat> know what goal, what score you need to get to win. You do. You need 999,999 <laughs> and you That's need true. to have already done it. But <laughs> That's true. Uh, so I'm probably, we won't win. Uh, Sorry, this... did you say we probably won't win? I very, I am very <laughs> impressed with that. With that uh, never give up attitude yeah, you have, that's true. even though it's, as uh, far win. as we understand, impossible for you to win <laughs> because there's already been one. Well, if you look at this score, it shows nine nine hundred ninety nine thousand, but it also shows that you can keep rolling it. So this person actually has more than oh. this person. So it just rolls over. So that person okay. actually legitimately beat this person. Uh. 
but they did it beforehand, so I'm not sure what they're counting because they did put up 9999. Uh, otherwise, why would you put 1 million 20,000 and mm -hmm. 1 million 4,000? Hey, Thrust, welcome. Um, but the next one down from that is quite a bit lower, um, more achievable in our realm, I think. Uh, score surpassed. Score surpassed. Oh, and then there's different scores. Not understanding this. Uh, well, there's the... First placed. Yeah, and then there's the... Um... Score surpassed, but this is higher. Even though they're not in first placed. Hmm, not understanding that. It's scores all over the place here. Tips. Secret spy messages. Start playing with Joystick 2 to understand the exact moments of firing ballistic missiles on enemy shuttles. Once you've mastered this simpler game mode and score relatively high, take Joystick 1 and start learning new combinations of heavy artillery attack. It doesn't say anything about people not being able to play with two people at the same time no no it does it says you can use your uh, any game mode is available to you that's in the third section. which is yeah but it's the third is the actual challenge and the right. first two are the first Qualified. one is the prerequisite right. and the second one is just like a bonus to be able to move on no no it's just a bonus is it the first one you is to be able to move on the second one is oh. like just a bonus and it gets you five percent off or whatever oh okay okay mm -hmm. no it says, See, it says at the you, bottom you will need this challenge is not oh, this challenge is not oh. a prerequisite yeah oh but it could guarantee your prize okay good 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 because yeah. we probably won't be able to figure this out sometimes it's there's value in me being here. <laughs> there it's is. One, it's one of those you rare times. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I think we've got info. Let's just... I have the tips printed out, so we can... Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of tips here. <laughs> Which probably we won't understand until we start playing. So let's do that. Let's start playing. And oh god, I don't think that's good. Everything's no, on fire. Me. <laughs> we, you started the game, and then, we, and then we walked away. So this is port two, and they said start with port two because that's the easier one. Can you do anything yet? Well, video game's muted, but that shouldn't do anything here. Oh. I remember like you can position it different different places and some are faster yeah, and some yeah. are slower. Oh and I lost points. And you're supposed to hit the top ship, right? And those yeah. other things are not. Or you're not supposed to hit the bottom thing. But you can hit any of the first, second, or third. Nice. nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh I missed by a tiny bit. So Okay. This is getting uh, damaged. <laughs> okay, so you have to get the three military badges in the bottom left corner. Nice. So you've got one of them. What's that? No, I don't know how to change the missiles. Oh, okay. Um, so what happens see. when the bomb is on the thinger? It interferes with the killing of the space shuttle. What do you get? Different The two bases on the left average speed. I believe it is your is job. Slow speed. When we start playing two player to kill the. Yes. The thing or one I of us. I think so. One of 
us uh, murders chips, and one of us saves. Color black and white switch makes the game more difficult than black and white. So we are in color. Oh, made it to the next Are one. You... you got your health refilled. Oh, I see. Now you've got a second rank. You're going to do it all on your own. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was bad. That's not how you do it. <laughs> bad, bad home defense. <laughs> Don't hit your own... Satellites. Get high on your own supply. Let's <laughs> blow up your own satellites. Just madness. Whoa. You got him from bottom. Same if the so space shuttle fine. hits the side of your missile. Mm. That doesn't do anything. You gotta hit the bottom. Oh, pause. I said, go ahead. Yeah, it does that to mess with you, <laughs> not to be your friend. Aren't it's... those your own satellites? That's why you don't want to hit them. But they're not controlled by you. No. Or or the first plane. I think it's almost... I think, oh, I think you're really close to killing it, but you're also very close to dying. Mm -hmm. I think just get one more of the Yes! Oh, you hey, didn't get all your three. health back, though. You got, got some of it. We got oh, the three chevrons. Yay! Click, send the picture in. <laughs> yeah, this is hard. So, what do we have to do for the, the final? We'll do better with two people, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> but we passed the first level. <clears throat> or you passed the first level. That's good. Yay! Yay! We are the winners. <laughs> um, I don't quite understand the third challenge still. The third challenge is to get the highest score that you can. Just just get the highest score. Okay. That, yeah. that seems like it. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so do you want to do that, since you're already doing yeah, that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Do the other one? I mean, uh, just accept that I'm going to blow up some of our uh, satellites, and that's just how it is. Okay. okay. Oh, I got it. I think the middle was the best. If I remember correctly. Always a bit of time. A bit of time on the show. To anticipate. Maybe it was the bottom. I think it was the bottom. Instead. Also, you have to be careful. Not careful, but Can if you just if you destroy it, just as my bombs are about to hit, yep. then a bomb will appear and it will stop the shuttle from exploding. Because if I hit the if I hit that bomb on the bottom of the shuttle, it stops the bomb instead of blowing up the shuttle. Well, you're not very good at games. So. <laughs> My, that was good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think waiting for the very last second to hit it is the best way. So you don't have to do timing as much because there's not as much time between the bottom. Oh no, all on fire. Yeah. Ah! Oh my gosh. I can't. Well, I think this means it's about to explode and we're about to go into the next level. Yep. I'm gonna go doodly -doodly 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 and it's flashing. Yeah. Uh oh. What? <laughs> you just hit our satellite. I did. I told you that was gonna happen. And <laughs> I told you that it was ah, not acceptable he's for you to be now. upset about it. <laughs> Don't be upset about it. Anticipate it. It will happen. Oh, I have to shoot two bombs now. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, you hit it again! <laughs> Oh, you're there. You shouldn't be there. <laughs> there. I don't have anything to do with what you're doing. Do I? Um, I don't know. 
we're totally separate. No, I, I'm I'm obviously blaming you for something that I did. <laughs> oh, it wraps around! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Ah! Uh, I did expect to miss. It's just the timing of the satellite is. It's 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 set to make me oh, not be able to do this. So It's um, it's a thing where you change the math. Oops. <laughs> you change the math by hitting the space shuttle. Yeah. Oh. But like, it's synced up with the space shuttle. Right. So like. Oh, the Thank you. I think they're not perfectly in sync, but they're like close enough that. It's hard. It's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the only thing to reset it is to hit the space shuttle at the yeah. top. Yeah. Which is bloody hard. Or, or when they pause, too. That resets it. Mm hmm. Or they weren't pausing it. before, though. Mm hmm. Now they're pausing. This is the new challenge level, I think. We're doing much better. Our health is way, yeah, way, yeah. way more. Because yeah. every we, bomb was hitting. We actually last have time. a defender now. We did not have a defender before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people can play this with just by themselves. That's skill. That's super hard. They use skill, I think. Much, much skill. Thirty thousand. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You got to hit it with the top tip of your missile. The tip. Okay. The the, <clears throat> the two bottom ones don't. No, they do. They count as well. Yeah, yeah. It, but yeah. like, uh, I believe none of the tips of the missiles hit the satellite, and that's it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, see, uh, it's going by. But I'm getting much better at as I miss. But it, it, I think it has hit the land, though. So. Better hit these. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, oh my god. Dude, can I hit them, too? I did. Oh, I can hit them, too. Oh, they're in the way now. Nope, one in the way. It's fine. Their bullets can go. Ah! No! Oh, no. Oh, another one's coming. No, that's going in the water. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Got him on the run, now. I will soon have to start using a different missile. <laughs> a different missile? Yeah. Oh! Launching it to be faster? Yeah. Okay, because this is the slowest missile that you're using. Yeah. But you know the time. Ah. See, that's the thing that happens. Oh, I see. It because the time between when he fires is getting too frequent. Why did your thing change color? Because I picked a different missile. Oh, I was like, things are changing. <clears throat> Oh, got rid of his bomb. Yeah, that's that's why you have to kill the bombs, but not too soon. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you kill them just as my missiles are about to hit, a new one appears. Oh. And it means that my missile doesn't hit. See, so like there. <laughs> right. So, like, the timing of... You've been doing it by chance, not too soon. Right. One more hit. 
noises that are happening. Yay, four! Ooh, we're moving fast now. Oh yeah. It's the, the time of the easy, uh... Not so easy anymore. At least things blocking your way aren't too bad now. I don't even know how. I don't know actually how you're supposed to move it from side to side. Oh, you just because doing I it? move it to side to side and it doesn't always work. <laughs> oh. I think it might be like up, down, left, right, or something instead of like left, left, right, right, right. Yeah, it's it's in that like I gotta try a different missile. Because right now they're synced up. Mm. Good gerb. Good gerb. Oh, this one's definitely just. Oh, you got the bomb. It's something. Ah! Oh, God. That's gonna be hard. Because you don't know when he's. Is he doing it at regular intervals? No. Well. No. It's not. That's not how you do it, man. That's not how. <laughs> yeah, you gotta use the fast one now, I think. Because you don't know when he's gonna pause. So what's today's goal? It's, you're competing against everyone else, really. Um, two people have rolled the game uh, to a million and 20 points, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so we're just gonna do our best. We're gonna do play just this one game, I think, because it's, no! a, it's a pretty long game. Yes, I hear you. You're right in my face and meowing. It's hard not to hear you. So far, we're doing pretty, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the cutest cries. <laughs> Very inquisitive, questioning cry. <sighs> it's, a bomb, but it's not particularly helpful because you're good at getting it anyways. Pretty good. I miss about one in. Hey, 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 hey. Ah! Oh, it bombed like... you. <laughs> it got you. Oh. Interesting. But it didn't really hurt hurt you very much. I would have thought that would have been a really bad one if it bombed you. Hi. Do you want to be there or something? Hi. Oh, Kit Kat. Hi. Oh, kisses. Cat kisses. Oh, he's so nice. You're such a good kitty. Ooh, I got him. Wow. He paused at the wrong time for him. get an apple for Darcy? <laughs> That's today's goal. Are the cats hungry? Uh, they've been, they've got two, two treat times. Um, unfortunately we can't 
stop the game. So I wouldn't do it right now, because all that will do is make the cats go insane, and we can't do anything about it. Unless that's your goal, <laughs> to make the cats insane. Oh, he moved just as uh, he's about to die! But I wouldn't recommend it, because that will just make the cats sad. Because they won't get fed. So we're not going to give up on this game. I think later ships do take more and more hits as as the game progresses. Uh, there might be a pause key, but uh, somebody would have to look that up at this point. The instructions are on the website. Like Darcy would be able to do the pause because I have to keep defending if we do find what the pause key is. Got fed about. I don't even know if it's enough time to feed the cats again. They, they got fed not too long ago. You can do catnip. That's for sure. Oh my god, I hit them hard. Satellite's like. Oh my god, I'm hitting them too many times. But I think we'll be fine on this level. I don't know if you get full health back. Or you just get some health back. Just a little bit. Yeah. Not even very much. No. These satellites are getting in my way now. Like, oh, they're, they're always in my way. In my way. It's like I'm just the so way, the way of the way of things for them <laughs> to be in my way. <laughs> Almost got him. Oh. oh. <laughs> Unlimited bullets. That'd be much harder. Oh! Don't hit them! Oh, we did it! Made it to six. Oh, we gotta shoot things or something. Oh, now we don't have. Um, let's just. Oh, I can't see my bullets now. You can see yours. I can't see my bullets. Makes it uh, a little bit harder for me. Pretty good amount of health back. My job is much harder. I can't tell where my bullet is. I only know I, I got it if the enemy's bullet disappears. No! No! Don't! Oh, it hit land! Damn it. It's going at such a angle now. the satellites oh no oh. ah damn it oh it's going at such an angle i i have to move up almost damn it oh i don't want to do that though so I'll, be, I'll get much worse at the game if i have to do that no i can still hit it okay Satellites, no! No! We're gonna die. Ooh, we're gonna die. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just got it. I genuinely still don't know how to move. I know it's something like that. It's something like <laughs> over there, but it's just like... Damn it. It was just so hard for me. I couldn't see my bullet. Yeah. And the guys going on the bottom of the screen were just going at the same place the bullet is every time. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, so it, it gets in a sink. And, and the thing is, like, not being able to blow up the shuttle makes it, because that's the thing that resets it. So you got to find a way to kill it so that it goes into a spot that's not worse. And then when it gets into a spot that's not worse, hooray, you get to shoot it. And then it goes into a spot that's worse. It's just like, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 82,000. That's not bad, I don't think. Let's Whoa, just... Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh my gosh. That, <laughs> bye. <laughs> let's see what uh, how we did here.
Where's the... Uh, that's the instructions. Oh, we didn't do that well. <laughs> um, we're not last. How about that? We beat uh, this person, Claudio. Assuming we understand the rules. Yeah. I think we do. I think we do. Yeah. You just play the game and do your best. Yeah, we yeah. did. But uh, score surpassed. Okay. Okay. We didn't beat uh, all those. We do you beat see? Those two. Do you see? Uh, those are all so there's the guy that we have to beat, and hit every time someone beats him, he tries to get a better score. What score do we need to beat now? Uh, He's like know. sergeant or lieutenant oh, or something. Where are the names then? I don't see lieutenant. Let's see, lieutenant, lieutenant. Oh, that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And what's so, his score right now? One hundred seventy-four thousand. Okay. Ooh, that's really hard. <laughs> yeah, we did not beat that, and I don't think we will. Like that last level, we and went so, from doing really, really well, no problems at all, to now we, we can't win are anymore. Going to die, <laughs> yeah. we're just dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think we would hit that point again. Yeah. And just die again. So yeah. I don't think we're going to do much better than that. Yeah. And I also think if you scroll up to the to the scores, I can I think I understand to the to, to the top scores. Okay. Okay. So so place. see how there's nine 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 nine. Yeah. Scroll down. Yeah. And then the next one forty, and then down seventy, yeah. and then down fifty four. Yeah. Okay. So the fifty four, they got that before. Oh. Because every time someone beats his score, he, he plays tries again. he plays one more time to get a better score or whatever. Okay, okay. To beat them it. and then stops and then so on. So it's like yeah. I see. And this last score that that this person put in was on October twenty second. Mm -hmm. And and I can see why, because yeah. that score was put on, on October twenty second. Yeah. And twenty second, twenty second, twenty second, twenty second. Yeah. Okay, okay. I got it um cool it is it is a very fun game for two players because you're doing very different things and you're doing different strategies as well yeah it is it is it is it is an interesting co-op like where you're both doing like one's on defense <laughs> yeah and one's on offense yeah yeah um i don't think i would play shooting on the middle i mean i should have been playing shooting on the middle in the last level because then, well, not even then, because I still have to shoot through those bottom yeah. satellites. I still mm -hmm. have to avoid them. The reason you shoot at the higher levels, I think, is because you can shoot right when there. they're somewhere else. Whereas it comes yes. down to the bottom, if they're lined up with, with the timing, you have no choice. That's true. Yeah. Harder timing, but safer. Yeah. yeah. That might have helped on the last level, but I've probably would have to play it though that's that way the whole way through so I get practice to know yeah. the timing. Master KSI talking pause. Soon I'll get the wins mod for my NTSC six switcher, pause switch, S video and composite. Pause switch. Hmm. I haven't heard of that. That there's a pause button for the twenty six hundred. Now, how does it do that? It must put itself into inject code to do a loop, to constantly stay in that loop until you press the button again, and then it puts the original code back in and points the pointer back to the original code to continue on. Hmm. That would be a, a quick way, but that mod must be quite intensive, like hooking itself right into memory to inject itself and also be constantly reading memory check win wins mods yeah i will your connection is not private wow interesting let's get rid of the s i don't need it to be private i'm just looking at it no somebody's website needs to be updated let's see let's try it with firefox <laughs> potential security risk ahead 
The website is either misconfigured or your computer clock is set to the wrong time. Well, it's probably not set to the wrong time because it's on satellite time. It's likely that this web certificate is expired, which prevents Firefox from connecting securely. Uh, if you visit this site, attackers could st try to steal information like your passwords, emails, credit card details. If you submit it to them, I would think. Or because just because they have a certificate doesn't mean they can't put malicious code on their site. Just means that your connection to them is not secure. Like this points in between. So we're going to accept the risk because we're not going to give them any information. And let's take a look at this because I am interested. Um, three hundred fifty-four days overdue. Mm. Drop-in composite. Okay, mod install. Are they all the same mod? Do they all do the pause feature? Oh, pause mod. Yeah. Okay. Forty-two hundred fifteen. I guess depending on your with pause. No pal for you. Yes, install it for me. So where's the info on this? There's no info. In the blog? They have one entry in their blog. This is, doesn't have a lot of info on their site. I, you probably have to go somewhere else. Oh, that's cool. Uh, N64 RGB app, cool. Uh, and they do install services. Ah, I, would, I would like some more info though about it. Like how, how it actually works. Ooh, actually this is something that I need. Because the other day I was putting a cartridge in the 7800 mm -hmm. and it was so tight, the cartridge, that it barely fit in the 7800. And that's like a known, a known issue, obviously. There, there's a product made. Um, for it. Tight card fix. I wouldn't mind getting that actually. But not today. But not today. <laughs> uh, there are videos installing on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go look up a video on it because they'll probably provide some explanation about... I, I'm guessing it's code injection because it almost has to be. Because otherwise the game would keep on playing. Um, doesn't have to be well it has to interrupt the stream at some point and know to continue on afterwards it has to be some sort of code injection uh type of thing and in n64 stuff well if you're running it in, install. if cool. you're running it in like you know when you're running it in a compiler or, or yeah. whatever yeah. it can do that right um like an emulator you mean i guess yeah oh, in an emulator hi. yeah oh hi but in an emulator it would just it would like just not execute the next right portion of code um yeah maybe it doesn't need to be code injection it just needs to not execute the next code so it needs <clears throat> to talk with the cpu to not advance the program counter that's probably the easiest thing. Just just don't advance the program counter one more. You know. uh, Ground Trooper says, I have the lock on since I'll pay 7,800. Most of the time it makes all the 2,600 carts work perfectly that have issues fitting in the 7,800 cart guide. Ah. Mm -hmm. The Onyx Junior console came with a pause button. Ooh, very cool. Um, so Ground Trooper, would you recommend getting that product, I'm guessing, then? Um, cause that, I'll put that on my list of things to buy. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive at the same time. Like 37 US, that's like 50 something Canadian, which is, you know, eh, not happy. Plus, plus shipping, which it probably won't tell me how much shipping is. That's Remember not to give them any information. <laughs> yes, it is like literally unsecure. I, I can't order from this website. Yeah, that's why I was saying not today. Not today. I thought you were like, uh, no. Oh, free shipping to the U.S. It doesn't know where I am. Yeah. 
Free shipping to the moon. <laughs> How far can we push this free <laughs> shipping? <laughs> Mars, baby. We're going to Mars. <laughs> it's free shipping, but uh, there's but you get it cheap, fast, or good. Hey, you and you get it good and cheap, but not fast. So you have to wait until there's a, That's an right. empty cargo container so let's, heading to uh, Mars. Check this out. I mean, we're not going to listen to it. Can you stop biting things, please? Mm. Very bad cat. Hey YouTube. I don't YouTube. believe he I don't believe he understands the English that you're trying to translate to him. No, he only just understands cat, unfortunately. Gotta wear those rubber gloves. So what does it connect to? Oh, okay. It's in it's an inline in line with the chip. That makes uh. that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So you take out the um six five oh two. I'm guessing. Yeah. I don't know. What chip is that? No, that must be the um, the TIA. Oh. Where does he wire it to? Oh, that's just for the video output. Well, he's not doing any more wiring. Oh, huh. interesting. I'll have to. I'll have to oh, listen to more now. What oh, is this? Let's go back. Okay. So he put takes a chip out. Yeah. What's that? I'm on? Not sure what chip that is. I'm. I'm thinking it's the TIA. Um. Which is the television interface, something, um, adapter, uh, which would make wiring it up to output very easy because it just goes in line. Um, but I only see him, let me just skip through this. Yeah, those are just output wires. Yeah, for video? Yeah, for okay. video output. And then that's it. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. Add a pause button to the 2600. Oh, that'll have some info. So let's go to that. Can I copy this link? Copy link. Paste and go. Thank you, Thrust. Add a pause button. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Different pinout. Now the clock signal needs to synchronize. The pause cycle was missing. Pause cycle. Sorry. The ready signal from another chip can judge the state of the processor interfaces with the Atari 2600 to patch in the pause circuit. Oh. The that... real problem with pausing. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Uh, it, this is pause. Twenty six hundred games. Oh, it's all dead. Anyway, I don't know. I don't. I only know enough to be dangerous. So even if I read it, I probably wouldn't understand it. Um, Master K K Casey doesn't know how it works. I'll have to. I'm sure that video will tell me how it works. I'm sure they're um, giving some instructions as well. If they know how to put that in and pop chips, they know enough. Okay. So we are done for now. Let's take a look at shows that are coming up on Zero Page. There we go. So we just did the After Dark. And the next show is the Vectrex Special. Very excited about that. We have our special analog joysticks ready. Let me go big on that one. Boom. Very nice third party uh, joysticks. Um, and then after that, we have two special shows uh, rounding out the end of the year. And uh, Muddy Vision Secret Homebrew, as well uh, as an interview with Lewis Hill. You're going to love it. He's giving me a preview of it. Oh my God, it looks awesome. Um, so it's not a secret for me, it would be a secret for all of you. Um, so that is next Friday, but next Tuesday is a Vectrex special. We'll be doing a special setup with a camera pointed at the Vectrex. It'll be a lot of fun for me to set that up. Board uses the same principle as all other pause boards for the 2600. It intercepts the ready line used by the TIA for synchronization with the CPU. Uh, okay, so it is the TIA that he popped out. So it just um, changes the state of the ready line 
So the CPU knows, hey, don't continue on with instructions. That makes a lot of sense. That's very, very uh, straightforward and simple. That's cool. Uh, and then we're on a break for holidays for uh, two weeks so that you guys can uh, enjoy your holidays, not be distracted by us, and we can enjoy our holidays. We uh, will definitely be throwing in some shows in there, probably some After Darks to catch up on some stuff, um, and a very special show that we'll be announcing soon, maybe, uh, that you definitely do not want to miss. Um, and then when we come back, we have uh, an interview about Zero Page Homebrew. I really need to post that uh, link in there. So let's go to the link and I'll post it in the... Th the uh, I need to make this smaller. Well, thank you for enjoying, Chow Sedani. Meow. Glad you enjoyed the show. Let's go to zero page. And there's the interview link. Oh, oh, don't show that. Don't show the questions. Even though anybody can access them. There we go. The great James. Well, I know a lot because I, I read a lot of forms, but I did not know about the pause. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, there's ZPH interview on ZPH. Ever had a question about zero page homebrew? No. <laughs> <laughs> how it operates behind the scenes? Why did James decide to do a stream of all about Atari homebrew? Why does he keep doing it after five years? <laughs> this is the time to ask. James, work partner and filmmaker Giovanna will be interviewing James and Tanya on January 3rd, 2023 about the show and more. Please leave your questions below that you've always wanted an answer to. So there's the link. And uh, Carl G, Revenge, Latom, D-Train, Scrummy, and Jason Atari have already asked some questions, which we won't look at. Want them to be kind of uh, a surprise. Um, but if you have any more questions about the show and you want to ask us, that is the day to ask. We're going to be playing some, maybe some of our favorite games of the year. I don't know what we'll be playing. Um, but we'll be playing some games as well as being interviewed. So they can't be too heavy of a game because we want to talk about the game. So we'll figure out appropriate games to play. Um, and the end of the year is coming up. Which means that, let's go back to this, the awards are coming up. Because all the games will be done for 2022 in 31 minus 9 days. It's because we're in December. And then we have the 5th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards live presentation with the cats and Darcy and us. And we'll be giving away awards to the games that you think are the best because you get to vote in the games. Uh, isn't that right? Atari doesn't have a login to the Atari Age forum, so he doesn't get to vote, so you better do a good job because uh, he'll be watching, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll be there watching. And he'll say something like, <laughs> Food, meow, treats, treats, bing, bing. ding, 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 treats. There won't be any ding, ding, treats <laughs> yeah. time during the, the awards, unfortunately. <laughs> He he does he we, does hear and understand all the things you say, but he has by, on principle won't comment on what's cat, happening. Cats are like that; they know a lot. They mm -hmm. actively ignore most things. Yeah, it's stressful to have to talk to humans, so they don't. Yeah, but thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, you offered me instead instead doing yoga time. <laughs> we can do yoga now. You could do yoga while watching us. <laughs> Kind of mean two screens, yeah. Cats only like treat time compatible games, yeah. Fuzzy little snobs. <laughs> are you a snob? Yes, you are. Let's go back to full screen here. So thanks for watching. Ciao, Sedani Mao. Thrust 26. Master, uh, is it Casey or KSI? KSI. Could be either. Rendered Ghost. Um, Ground Trooper. Chitlet La. Uh, Charles Whelan. Al Nefer. Pseudo Graphics. Um, Brenry. Um, and I think that's it for After Dark. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Great games today. Uh, we played, um, in the in initial show, played Harpy's Curse. So if you didn't watch that, you're watching it on YouTube. Go back. Awesome game. You can download it. It's for the 7800. And Orbital War, which is uh, available for purchase, not downloadable. But it is also a great game for one or two people. Mm -hmm. 
I would be very scared to Two play people. it uh, single by myself, but it is possible. Uh, you won't you could get one controller on your feet. Yep. And or a dual I, joystick. I don't really know how you coordinate uh, defending the planet and blowing up the space shuttle. It's tough. Like you'd have to defend and then immediately try and blow it up, but the timing would be off. So it's it'd be very challenging. You'd have to have a pattern worked out where one kind of stays in the same place, and you. It would have to be your. Um, shot where you stay in the same place. And you just use the button and not mm -hmm. move, which most of the time it is. That's what you did, right? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, but later on, you can't do that. And you have to move. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're out of here for the week. Uh, have a great weekend. And we'll see you on Tuesday for the Vectrex special. Ooh, that's going to be a exciting. lot of fun. Yeah, we've never played the Vectrex on the stream. Actually, I have to do some mods on one of my Vectrex so it doesn't buzz. It's going to be a busy weekend. It's supposed to be really easy to do, so I'll do it. And I hope I don't damage my vector. And where does the buzzing come out? Will you hear the buzzing or will everybody hear the buzzing? Both. <laughs> I'll hear the buzzing, everyone will hear the buzzing, because I have to attach the audio output from the Vectrex with the mod, because it doesn't have an audio out, mm -hmm. um, into that uh, audio input, like where I normally put the Atari Vox. Mm -hmm. Um but normally it buzzes, and this is like a thing called buzz off, and plus an audio tap. So I do two mods. Buzz off gets rid of the buzz. Audio tap allows me to feed the audio directly to you guys, so you get a, a very nice... Ooh, thrust pedals! There we go. That's perfect. Um, there's an add-on that you could buy. That you can use your foot. And this is assignable to any joystick direction or button. So you can go left, 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 right, right, and fire, 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 all on the floor. Yeah, it's, uh, it might feet. be more a case of um, can your brain fight two wars at the same time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um... And it actually... I guess the thing you need to do most is defend the planet. Yeah, so that's what you'd be concentrated yeah. on. But it could be a very, very long game if you can <laughs> infinitely defend the planet but can't blow up the uh, target. That, yes, yeah. it would be infinitely long. You'd just be doing the same thing over and over again. But that's a good suggestion, Charles Will, and that's exactly what you would need. Um, so, uh, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you on Tuesday for Vectrex. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.